Bishop, why did you tap me on the shoulder? Because I didn't want to talk and bother you. I finished varnishing the chairs. Yeah, that's very good, Gilliam. Now, why don't you go topside and start working? That way you won't bother me anymore. Aye, aye, sir. Thanks a lot, Gilligan. Now, get topside. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye. Oh. Just think, Gilligan. When the check comes from the insurance company today... Then we can pay off the balance, and the minute two is ours. Ours? Well, can I have a little teeny-weeny piece? Okay, you can have a little teeny-weeny piece. Thank you, partner. Partner? Just keep working up there. We've got to be ready for the start of the charter season. Aye, aye, sir. Just think what we missed during the past 15 years. Three different presidents, astronauts walking on the moon, and miniskirts. We even missed the miniskirts. What are miniskirts? Remember when we left? Women's skirts were clear down to here. While we were gone, they came up to here. Now they're back down to here again. Killing did we miss from here to here? Top my paintbrush. Why don't you stop varnishing and come down from there and go get the morning mail? Maybe the check from the insurance company will arrive today. And then the minnow two will be all mine. <laughs> I'll go get the mail. I do hope that check gets here today. <laughs> We'll be sitting on top of the world. <laughs> Gilligan! You didn't. I mean, no, you wouldn't. Bet I did. What is dumber than varnishing the seat of a chair? Sitting in a chair that's just been varnished. Gilligan, get me out of this. Gilligan, go get the mail, because if I see you in my sight, I'll... Thank you. Look, it comes now. I do talking. Why should you do talking? Idiot, because you have accent. You are sailor? Yeah, I'm first mate in the minnow, too, and a very teeny little partner, too. We are sailors also. Uh, both of us. Nice necklace you're wearing. It's my good luck charm. In my country, it's old custom. I give you my good luck charm for your good luck charm. Huh? Solid gold. No, I wouldn't part with this for my life. Every man have price. Well, I gotta go. Faith! No, I gotta check about a check. <laughs> Skipper! I got it, I got it! Last. It was in the mail. Well, give me the letter. You know, it was in a big sack of mail, and the mailman made me wait, you know? Will you give me the letter? Oh, yeah. There it is, a good old check for the good old minnow, too, huh? <laughs> No check in them. Why not? Why not? Why not? Even you could understand that. It's written in English. It's as plain as the nose on your face. All the whys and wherefores. Can't you understand that? I can get past you, sir. Gilligan, it says here that the insurance company will not pay me until I can prove that the shipwreck was not my fault. Don't they trust you? Well, Gilligan, it's not like we were back on the island where we all trusted each other. We're back in civilization. Dog eat dog. It was never dog eat dog on the island, except for Fifi, and she wasn't even there. Right. Well, at any rate, I can't collect my money until I can get everyone who was on board to sign this affidavit and swear that the accident was not my fault. Now, you're going to be the first one. Here's a pen. I'm going to sit right here. You use my knee to write on and sign that, Gilligan. <sighs> Gilligan! Skipper, you got to stop sitting in chairs. that already been varnished. Would you get away from me oh, yeah. before I, I varnish you? I'm... <laughs> 